Virgos, hey loves, we are on that early morning grind. Listen, let's get a quick positive message for you. Let's see what the energy is surrounding your situation at this time. I hope everybody is feeling amazing. Sending you love, light, and positive energy as always. Let's go ahead and see what messages Spirit might have for you today. All right, hold on one sec. Let me grab the cards. Let's see what's up with the energy surrounding my Virgos. Ancestor Spirit guys, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels for Virgo. Show me clear messages of what is going on with my Virgos today. What messages do you have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North. No, y'all. No, you don't have to be only a Virgo sun to resonate with my energy or these videos. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. Thank you for your divine hand of protection around each and every one of us. Blocking and binding anything coming against your divine will for our lives. We speak prosperity, abundance, good news, positive energy, and acceleration. Thank you for healing in our hearts, minds, bodies, souls, and spirits. Abundance and overflow. Amen. Amen. And amen. All right, y'all. Let's see. We're going to start off with these. And then I'll pull three from the other deck. Let's see what the underlying energy is. Take a reality check. Full moon in Capricorn. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Have Capricorn in your chart. Doesn't have to be dealing with a Capricorn. But take a reality check. Is here reminding you to be real about a situation and look at the situation in its entirety. Um, this situation may be calling for a level of empathy. I feel like it's something that you need to take account of and i feel like you have to look at the whole situation all right all areas of the situation to really understand what's really going on okay it's okay sweet oh it's okay boo you're not feeling good hold on y'all sorry about that guys sweetie not feeling that good all right, so we um we're talking about take a reality check about the situation. I'm um, really examining the situation, and now we're talking about the next card that came out. It's talking about clearing your mind. All right, so whatever this situation is that you're going to be dealing with, you're going to have to be dealing with this situation from a clear mind. This is telling you to step back if you need to to really look at what's going on. But there is something that's going on here that's going to really need you to be rational. It's going to need you to not be overly emotional, not overly aggressive, but very ba um, balanced. All right. Just clear your mind and breathe. Somebody could be under. I, could, I feel like you could definitely have a bit of anxiety. All right. You could be definitely under a lot of pressure. All right. So whatever this is, just breathe through it. Clear your mind. And I feel like you're going to have the tools you need to be successful and whatever this endeavor is. All right. We got to assess the situation. So it's definitely something that you really need to take a look at. It's something that you need to examine. It's something that you. So I feel like this is calling for you to use your analytical skills. Definitely. Um, a lot of you guys are already equipped with the tools you need. Um, earlier when I was shuffling the cards, I saw the magician. So I feel like you're already equipped with the tools you need to accomplish whatever goal this is. This is something that got your, I feel like your anxiety is high or anticipation is high or something like that. So it could be something that you really want to work out. Um, but Spirit is saying, just calm your mind, breathe and assess the situation. You're going to get the answers you need to do this. Okay, so if you're doubting, just breathe, take a reality check, be real about the situation, come from a genuine place. I feel like you need to assess the situation and then somebody can have like a big meeting or something, a boardroom meeting, or maybe you have to do a presentation. Maybe it's a big conversation or a big talk that you have to have with somebody and you're kind of feeling anxiety about it. Um, I don't feel doubt. I don't feel worry, but I feel anxiousness. Like somebody could be really anxious about something. So this is telling you to go for it. Trust yourself. Believe that you have the tools to make it happen and go for it. All right. Even if it's just you simply telling somebody how you feel because you need a better outcome, something of that nature. But you're being, it's like you're being, um, it's giving you the confidence that you need to see this through. It's like you're being you're being pushed to do this and you're being reassured, right? That you have what it takes to make this happen. Let's see what the energy is um, attached to this. 
what type of situation is this ancestor spirit guys holy spirit holy angels show virgo what they need to see holy spirit show virgo what's the energy attached to this what's the energy attached to this oh okay small steps make a difference wow protection it says protect your energy and guard yourself against the people and things that drain you so i feel like sometimes we could be our worst enemy especially when we overthink or it's like sometimes you overanalyze a situation when it's really simple just breathe through it and understand that you just be confident and genuine and go through it whatever this is but it's something that has something to do with the door to power it says your courage to stand up for what you believe in will bring great blessings to your life ruling power respect and wealth so i feel like i really feel like you have to go in front of some people or it's something that you have to confront here and i don't feel like it's negative i feel like it's confronting your fears um to be able to go forth and be your authentic self. So I really do feel like that, whatever this is. All right, somebody could have a meeting at work or whatever. Maybe something has been going down and you got to talk about it. This could be at church, um, at home. It's something that you need to confront or you're about to talk about. Or it's some way you have to present yourself in a confident way. So this is telling you to get out of your head about it and go for it. Take small steps. It says the small wins, the small triumphs. The everyday victories, celebrate them. They will take you there. Slow and steady, careful actions, all right? So this is saying just take your time. Don't be so hard on yourself. Don't push yourself. Don't overdo it. Just take your time and breathe. Spiritual test. It says you're on the path to discover your spiritual gifts so that you may grow and evolve spiritually. Inner work, awareness, and calling. So this is a spiritual test. And I feel like right now you're getting the tools you need or the encourage, encouragement you need um, and the confirmation that you need in order to be able to pass this test. But there is a spiritual test going on. So whatever this is, that's all it is. It's only a test. Um, and walking unscathed it says you're fortunate a trap was laid out for you but you're too smart to fall for it protecting and un protected undamaged and safe we got this card again so there's some kind of trap that was laid out for you and you didn't take the bait you didn't take the bait you were too smart to take the bait and you knew that this was only a test it was only a test what it was testing maybe the tarot will tell us or you already know what was being tested whether it be your confidence your dedication your will to succeed um whatever it is it could even be your patience all right um it could be your um desire to have what you truly want do you really want something or will you settle like whatever this is it was a test and you knew it and you passed this test. It's like you you passed something. It's something that happened. You didn't take the bait and you're being tested. So now you have to step up and step out on faith and I guess speak about it or confront something head on. It's something of that nature. But you're being told to go for it. All right. So let's get the tarot out and see what the energy like. What's going on here? What is really going on here, Virgo? Okay, what is happening? That's what I want to know. Let me get the cards. Where are my other cards? Hold on, guys. Let me grab the cards. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. I'm feeling so amazing this morning, y'all. I hope you feel the same. It's early morning over here. Well, it's not so early anymore. It's about going on 9 o'clock, I believe, in the morning. Um, and my blessings and condolences, like not condolences, because I pray nobody lost their life. But for those of you who may be going through the hurricane or some things are happening in your area, like I really pray that God continues to protect and keep you. I really, really do. And I pray that you guys are taking all precautionary measures that you need to take to remain safe. Okay. Um, I just thought about that to say that. All right. So sending you my love and positive energy. All right, y'all, let's see. We're going to use the tarot and see. What does Virgo need to know about this energy on the board? Tell us more about this spiritual test. Protection, door to power, taking small steps, assessing the situation, clearing your mind, taking a reality check, and going for it. What does Virgo need to know today? What's in store for Virgo that they may not see coming? Okay, so in action. 
some action is going to be taken. You could be receiving messages, but this is some type of expression or proposal with the Eight of Wands energy, swift communication. All right. So you could be, like I said, I feel like you're going to talk to somebody or there's some messages that's going to come in and it's a test. I feel like it's the remainder because I feel like you already had an opportunity to do something. And I feel like you took the high road. So now you have to talk about it or something is being offered to you for that. Let's see what else. Spiritual test with the Eight of Wands energy page of swords. So somebody asking questions, finding out, doing some type of investigation. Um, this could be a talk. This could be somebody reaching out to you that you didn't expect. Maybe somebody now wants to talk about this. You know how, how energy works. It's like you overcome one obstacle and you didn't take the bait. Now you got to confront the thing, whatever the problem was or whatever the opportunity is. Maybe you had a chance to go left and you went right. So now because you went right, this is the outcome. So it's a consequence. You know, it could be negative or positive, but whatever this is, this is the outcome of you taking the, the other way, took the other road. So what about this page of swords energy? Wow, the star and the fool. Okay, so you're being highly sought after. Something is happening here with the fool energy, free will, a fresh start, impulse. So it's an opportunity here. And I feel like it's because you didn't take the bait. Small steps. So this is saying... Even though things might not have worked out the way you wanted it to before, give yourself credit for the small steps you took to get you to this place now. With the star, there's a lot of healing and hope here. Divine renewal and soul alignment. So it's an opportunity for you to be in alignment. I feel like for somebody, this could be a job. With Look, eight of pentacles, wheel of fortune and the emperor. So somebody could be bossing up. It could be somebody that's getting a role um, to be in charge or some type of level up. I feel like because you took charge and you worked on yourself, it's something beautiful that's going to come towards you, that's being offered to you. And this is something having to do with the wish granted with the wheel of fortune. And this could be after you felt betrayed or let down by someone or something didn't work out in your favor. Yeah, with the Knight of Cups, there's some type of offer. What else is it that Virgo needs to know about this particular situation? All right, and if you guys are at work and it's a work situation with your boss, I feel like there's going to be justice here. Something is going to happen, like where there's justice here. Two of Cups, something turning around in your favor. For some of you guys, if you're dealing with a husband and you're getting a divorce, justice is here for you. You were wondering if you're going to find love again. Yes. I feel like you were wondering if things were going to work in your favor. Yes. Something is happening here and it's a result of you avoiding this test. With the Ten of Swords keeps popping out, I feel like this is the end of some type of tough cycle that you've been going through. What else does Virgo need to know about this chat test? What else is going on here? Knight of Cups. Yeah, so I see something here with the Four of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. So I really feel like it's an offer. And this offer because you chose to avoid it's something that you avoided all right and you decided to be solo you decided to walk alone and because you decided to walk alone i feel like all these doors are opening up for you and i feel like it's like this paid off because you weren't afraid to let go of something that you didn't need or you realized wasn't the best opportunity for you your decision is making everything turn in your favor it's bringing a lot of balance in your life and you are going to be happy that you did make this choice to move forward and trust your better judgment all right so let's see what's going on what you need to clear your mind about what is going on for go for it for go for it for virgo yeah, because whatever this is, it's like you passed the spiritual test. And now a wish is being granted with the Nine of Cups energy. Something is coming around for you full circle. And it's going to make you extremely happy. And it's because you bet on yourself. It's like you're like, I'll be alone. I'll withdraw. I'll do whatever I need to do to make sure I get to where I need to be. Because I know right here, I'm not in alignment. I feel like it was if you, whether it be you 
surrounded by people or whatever, it was a trap. And I feel like you keep making it out, right? And because you keep making it out and you keep starting over from scratch, it's like God is gifting you better opportunities, opening up better doors. Um, I feel like you're realizing how much of a blessing your life truly is, okay? Somebody is realizing that God is real. God has been with you the whole time. Like you're understanding how favored you are by God. So show me more assess the situation so this is telling you to just take your time and think pay attention getting your analytical energy and pay attention to what's going on this is first quarter moon in virgo big virgo energy this is telling you to have courage all right understand that you can do this whatever it is it's working for your good right with the strength card this is talking about resilience and self-discipline and now is the time to show that and see this is what i was picking up because of your self-discipline because you believed because you didn't give up and you kept pushing and you understand that everything is happening for a reason this is opening a bigger door for you and now a wish is granted so if there was something that you wanted it's coming in and it's coming in fast and when it comes to adversity clear your mind and stand your ground for what you truly believe to be for you and this is what's bringing you your ten of pentacles somebody is about to be um, extremely happy about this opportunity that's coming in you're gonna love this okay you are gonna love this let's get you some advice for your higher good the thing is you have to beware of illusions and you got to make sure you choose wisely stay optimistic stay positive and don't be afraid to take the chance but make sure that you're using your intuition with the seven of cups okay as you go forward all right. So this is what we have here. All right. Let me get you some messages um, to see what spirit wants you to know in closing. Because, y'all, I'm getting excited. Look, if everybody wasn't asleep, I would be louder than this. But there is something beautiful that's happening here that is about to happen. All right. For Virgo. Let me get the other card, y'all. Well, no. Let, yeah. No, I'm going to get these. Let's see. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What's the positive message in closing for Virgo? What does Virgo need to know at this time? So if all you're doing is waiting for the really big moments, you won't value and appreciate the small ones. Also, it's okay to be different. So don't try so hard to fit in. There you go. And we picked up on that um, energy in the beginning of the reading. You're going to master your material reality in the future, all right? So whatever this is, whatever material or financial goal that you've been setting for yourself, you're going to get there. You're going to get it, and it's going to blow your mind. I feel like not only is it going to blow your mind, people are going to be shocked at how um, God gift you all of these opportunities and how God blessed your life. I feel like whatever is happening is going to be a true gift from God. It's going to make you say only God could have did this. Because it's something that you're going to be doing and you never imagined that you would be doing this. Like you never imagined that you would be able to do this. And I feel like it's a dream that you had. Something that you saw like when you were younger and you wanted to always try it. And it's going to be your reality. And not only that, you're going to be blessed abundantly for it. It's like you're going to make so much money and be so happy and prosperous. You're going to be able to help others. You're going to be really amazed at how God turns your situation around. All right. You're not there yet. I feel like you have so much more to see and do. Like just type I receive or it's mine in the comments. Type it's mine in the comments. It's mine. Whatever you dream of, whatever intentions you set to add to your life and help you elevate, it's yours. All right. So claim that. Believe in miracles. It says you have to take risks. Miracles will only happen if you allow the unexpected to happen. And this is exactly what I was feeling like something very unexpected is about to happen for you. And I feel like these doors are going to open and things are going to turn around and it's going to be an amazing ending to your trials and tribulations. Like whatever this is that kept you in anxiety and the betrayal and just all of these unnecessary things, but they were very necessary because it made you more equipped because now this door that you're about to walk through, you're going to be more than ready to 
embrace the blessings and the gifts that come with it. So stay in expectation, you guys. I can't stress that enough. And trust and believe that even when you think that something is not working for you, it's working behind the scenes and divine is definitely helping your story unfold and leading you to your destiny. You're going to get there and you're going to get there sooner than you think. And it's going to be beautiful. All right. So congratulations on this new opportunity that's coming in for you, Virgo. I feel like you definitely deserve it. And your life is definitely a gift. You're favored. All right. You always have been. I love you guys. And I will see you later on. Thank you. Bye, my lovies.